very good morning to student today we are going to learn uh, about the open cast mining box cut and back filling operations these definitions which is activities in elaborate uh, my name is uh, uh, Bogey Karuna Kumar, HOD Mining, Engineering, Government Polytechnic, Kothagura. This is a, this a video lecture, uh, 15 minutes duration related to the open cost uh, from our manager, too. Different basic concepts about surface mining. In part that one, I am going to explain about the completely box cut and as well as a film. These two are the uh, different activities, end to end activities. Box cut is the initial operation. Uh, Filling, back filling is another of the end operations. So I am going to explain with uh, around 36 uh, PPTs with video and voice powers. Uh, we already learned that in early classes, uh, all wheel mining and strip mining, small scale mining in granite, limestone and slope stability. These are already uh, covered in early classes. Now I first I go to the explain the back filling. What is the mean by back filling? Usually in open pit over button is a dump to the rise of the outcrop or a prevent the farming. As the mineral extraction is proceeds, the over button may be dumped in the area from which the mineral is extracted. So this is called as a back pit. Wherever you are extracted, that the material will be dumped in around the uh, open cast mine. Sometimes it will be in the mine, sometimes the periphery of the mine. So what are the waste uh, that we have to proper organized way we have to fill it. So for environmental point of view as well as the, our work environment also very clean and uh, disturbing of the our extractability scientific methodology then also they are important uh, for the dumping system of uh, excavated excavated material. So now a uh, back filling operation is uh, one of the uh, major activity in the open cast mine. So now I am showing here uh, in the typical uh, open cast mining system. Here we observed uh, things. Here is clear observed here. Uh, with the high wall is there, back in the east, west, and uh, what are the activities there? See, observe here. Now, so the movement of a mine is going this side. This is advancement. This is the advancement side I am showing here. And also, this is the back side of the operation. So, that will be what are the taken material will be dumped here and farming the roads. So, this is the activity of the back operation. One more thing I is going here. So, dump. So, use of some time of the mine, uh, that is a power plant mine, ash also can be used as a major material. But uh, most of the uh, cast mine, uh, the, what are the excavated uh, limestone or sandstone will be filled with the back operation. So, here is one typical uh, uh, example of uh, back filling operation can be explained with the drug led pages. The doglet benches. You can see that this is a hierarchy of the earth cluster. The so cone is the bottommost point. Drop strata is there. There's some intermediate cone, small uh, thickness, okay, such so. So you have, the waste that we have to take away, and the soil is also taken away. And where to dump? That will be going the outside of that one. Sometimes come to where our excavated areas come. The coal, uh, thin coal will be going to the beneficial of the plant. This is the activity. You have to maintain such a way that so our progressing of the mine advance towards the direction. So interface of the material, this is here interfacing of the material. Waste rock dump by all roads here, all track. They're showing a waste rock dump by the drag line. So, so there's two drag lines on it. One is the drag line that will be side casting the activity. So what are to be rehandling of the ABC? Uh, Normally, we power into the here, uh, the complete uh, excavated area. From here, you have to dump the other. So, this is the back filling activity. 
This is an activity called a backfilling activity. Now, so now here I am showing the same. The above figure is very clearly mentioned here. So, after drug line is removed by tearing into stand, again it will be rehandling to the other direction. You can simply observe the sketch. See that in the sketch, drug line is moving backward and removing the one button in the front, you will be bottom at the front. So, cast blasted at a bench level. So, So, uh, the excavated portion of the, the open pit is reclaimed properly for the purpose of the further future of uh, the excavated soil is dumped in separate places, one after another, in a manner matching the surface topography. Uh, most of the top layer of the soil contains most of the organic matters, uh, like four or four, so they lay below the top layer is called the subsoil. Which is containing a more clay alluvium is there. Uh, here I show you that work. This is a box cut, you have extracted this one. Uh, the bottom most layer which above the rock rock formation continues, loose of the weather rock, uh, soil, gravel, weather rock, stratified soft sand stored at surface are very um, so directly from there, the disposal. Uh, these are the very important uh, activity in the back filling operation is concerned. So we have even beautifully uh, narrated the image of uh, back filling operation of waste dumping in a very proper or organized way. Here three crew uh, is completely completed with the, the advancement, uh, direction of the mine, is also direction of the pit advancement. Here observe, the uh, uh, rock line bench is working for the OB remover, this is the top of the core bench and a core bench will be extracted by the shovel dumper combination, shovel and truck combination, removing the core. Uh, rock line is uh, removed in the, all the OB and uh, dumped to the side. It's a reclaimed ground. It's called as a reclaimed ground. Uh, and uh, for preparation of the rock line bench, uh, this is a shovel dumper combination is playing role because uh, rock line is a heavy machine. So it should be maintained once you have to stand here, it will be work more than one month, same place, depending upon the our choosing area. So that's why they require draw line bench preparation work, uh, shovel dumper combination, another work, but they remove a small thickness in the essential. So this is the waste, how uh, the back feeding of uh, the material. This is only here to film side casting is also possible. If you're providing another drag line here, so this will be rehandling to the other direction, other uh, So this is uh, uh, how handling of the wooden surface is given. Uh, start a polyline is given up to the uh, top, lower left uh, cut point is given, lower right cut point is given, uh, the reference point, the spoil uh, pile uh, height. So, this is the one simple uh, uh, sketchable things can be explained. Now, the back, I can you uh, understand, I uh, can you uh, understand what is the uh, back filling activity. So this is a nothing but rehandling of the waste material from one place to the other place for the waste of disturbing our neighbor. It is called a back Coming to the the major uh, the box cut. Box cut uh, uh, opening of the uh, open pit is done by the opening cut for the development of first working bench. The first working bench. Uh, this is a one uh, simple typical uh, line diagram. This is the uh, entry level. The next, uh, next level is the exposed level. The exposed also, old benches are old benches are old, 
code right into that one. Box cut. Opening of a open bit uh, in return by an opening cut for the development of first working bench. The opening cut is called a box. Uh, cut and slope of the suitable gradient. Steepest uh, is advised for both the electrical and uh, technical, uh, technical and economic part of uh, the transport. Holding space and minimizing the cost of excavation uh, for deep is necessary. So this is very important. The opening of the pit is done by the opening cut for development of first one. The opening cut is called box cut, but the maintenance of the uh, gradient for the entire life, the box cut is a major. Uh, just like in our uh, underground shop and the box cut is a one entry. It is a location is also very important as well as uh, all the activities going through this box cut. That is a mention of it. So these are types of uh, box cuts are two types of the, uh, the, box, uh, the object, the basic object of the box cuts are to reach the ore body, to reach the ore body of coal to provide a smooth entry, smooth entry to the pit, to provide a space for the development working uh, production bench. These are the for, for, to reach the ore body. Smooth entry to the un unnecessary accidents or inclination maintenance. So, the basic idea box cut is the to provide the uh, smooth entry to the deposits. These are the two types one is the internal box cut and external box cut. Uh, depending upon the uh, entry, whether it may be outside of the complete zone, it's called as a external. If it is a inside of the part of the or deposits is called the internal box cut. So the box cut may be internal located in the bar on one side of the pit, saves cost of the excavation suitable for deep pits since the number of benches in this case are more. Excavation by external means is externally large and costly and external uh, suitably, suitably for shallow pits. Box cut is excavated initially down to the floor level, the first bench from the surface. Then the level bridge for the opening is extended for the, this opening cut to form the first bench. The opening trench is a narrow, keeping due record of the turning of the missionaries used for excavation and extended along across the fire building, depending on the type of the deposits. So I'm showing here a box cut, a simple box cut cutting. Just uh, observe the sketch. <coughs> then <coughs> box cut is the initial box cut given for the physical development of a mine. This cut generally looks like a box having walls on the sides. The main objective of the box cuts are to reach the ore body, provide smooth entry to the pit, and facilitates the development of the working bench. The box cut of the box cut is already uh, given the uh, early slide uh, floor level of the first bench from the surface a level. Opening trench then extended from the box to the first bench. So, the general narrow the sufficient mission is moving is required. So, what is the mean by external and what is by internal? The, the box cut is a place totally outside the metal bench of the It is called as an external box cut. This is applicable only for shallow and gently digging deposits. The cut is generally located in the middle of the rise, the most side. Internal box cutting, then the box cut is located fully or partially on the metal bed. One is called internal box cut. This is applicable for the all type of deposits. The cut follow a direction that is usually public to the both in strike and in direction. Generally, the direction is the chosen that the hard road ramp formed by this cut. And subsequent cut will not have one necessary for steep 
So, uh, depending upon our usage, depending upon our requirement, uh, we are both the possible for internal or external. So, you can understand the most of the internal is uh, one of the best for the large uh, area miles uh, for uh, external box getting the for the other. So, one typical uh, example extend along the cross the property depending on the type of uh, of the deposit box the first bench is sufficient for the box the box cut is extended to the next lower bench leave enough space for the approach to the first bench uh, first bench and another opening trench cut for the develop developing the second bench the second bench This is a uh, showing the one uh, simple uh, box cut uh, image of a real working environment. You observe the, what are the crew activities going on. So this is the uh, surface of the topmost uh, surface of the map. So the, just uh, a ramp is maintained in such a way that smooth ramp is maintained here. So these are the this uh, we did this to uh, for the activities for the side walls. So moving up the vehicle feature and feature is complete. This is uh, that we have to maintain it such a way that uh, all the vehicles come for showers also moving this uh, activity. Particular compass movement is more so that we have to move uh, this is one typical example uh, idea. Typical, uh, Example also showing another to see the, what are the activities. Are. This is a one, one type. So, see that here location of the box cut is also very essential. Uh, but the where you are located, whether it may, for example, one kilometer into half kilometer width of the deposit, start by middle of the deposit or another end or another. So location of the box pit is also an, uh, a big important role. Opening of the open pit is done by the open cut for the development of the first one. Okay? The opening cut is for the box cut. The slope of suitable gradient, uh, uh, in, initial, initial uh, uh, space and minimum cost of the Maybe uh, so the location of the box pit depending on the uh, major factors of it. Particularly, the minimum cost of haulage within the other pitch. That means, uh, minimum cost is the so location of the far away from the uh, pit uh, property. The property is this far away, but uh, location is not. The this will be very needs to be reduced cost. So one dumper is uh, start and going, uh, filling and come back and uh, power to the so the handling plant and again going go. If the hard distance is more, the automatic cost of the uh, cost of material transportation is more. So, automatically going to the economic point of view also. So, minimum cost of the haulage with uh, the open pit and outside, and uh, outside, and uh, outside uh, the pit to the pit. Uh, uh, to be desired place. Example of preparation plan, siding, or mineral and overburden uh, dump. However, the place of the mineral siding and overburden dump is far far. Separate opening cut to one of the mineral and other uh, one for overburden is to be far. Sometimes it may go to another box. But simply they are using the one box. Yeah, this is a very beautiful uh, uh, example. Uh, box cut formation is showing here. Uh, if a shifting of box cut is not necessary, then it is located in the boundary of the mental deposit property. Uh, in a dipping deposit, uh, this boundary should be in the mineral uh, outcrop or uh, where ratio of the overburden or over is the least location of the box cut. It should be in the middle of the boundary. Of the resource of minimize, minimizing the haulage cost. In horizontal deposits, the box cut can be located in the middle of any boundary depending on the location of the place 
distribution of over button and mirror disposal the opening pledge the opening pledge opening pledge continuous for the box cut of two working faces i think it long for the set of each so location of the box cut very the side box cut will be stable and free from the geological disturbances so it should be uh, free from the location free from the, the geological disturbances mm. the side should be uh, at the right side of the card against the uh, flooding of the bike the flooding of the bike also most of the uh, records are taken from the previous is uh, uh, the 1986 the highest flood rate similar in 99 or 89 so these uh, records should be taken from the local uh, uh, irrigation department or uh, revenue department Uh, maintaining the our uh, shaft uh, that is a uh, entry level mouth that is a uh, box cut to mouth uh, where example go most of the mines in open cast in godavari river valley so if you highest flood the uh, come to the water will be going inside uh, uh, box cut is a uh, is possible is there in such condition uh, the location of the box cut should be highest elevated position of the highest flood level position so this is also one of the important uh, parameter while the box cut preparation work now the site should be selected uh, where the construction of approach road is very convenient so most of the machinery will be transportation and the of course uh, hems are these are the and also the hem operations uh, maintenance uh, locum uh, that's a maintenance uh, workshed workshed should be near at the that one so that uh, our location is also proper way conveniently for this purpose you have to maintain uh, that is also one of the important uh, parameter one of the important parameter for the, for the point of view then the site should be selected where the uh, construction of the approach and it's very important now uh, it goes to the next slide so here also is showing the box cut in a Uh, different uh, way you can observe that one it should should be selected preferably where the deposit has high grade mineral uh, to compensate the development cost so this is also one important unnecessarily where the inferior uh, grade uh, area you go and uh, see that uh, that will be start instead of that one the location where the richest uh, property of mineral so that we will get the initially uh, more uh, Uh, more profitable uh, activities uh, also one is one of the important and then and then uh, location of the box cut uh, should be such that uh, to serve the purpose of maxo mining area so this is also one of the important factor location of the box cut should be such that it serve the purpose of maxo mining area uh, so uh, uh, if uh, one end we have to put it box cut so other end will be mineral so the transportation cost will be so the box cut should be serve the entire entire area so then uh, you, you, you will be get the good results and uh, good benefits of the good object to then can be fulfilled uh, if the mining area is a extensive then the total mining area is divided into sub areas sometimes it is possible and they are to be opened separately uh, due to the wider and deeper reach droglens are most suitable equipment for making box cuts so most of the uh, box cuts are prepared by uh, suitable equipment for making box cuts standing on the surface then can load material from the box cut to the um, Of course, that we need to bag and so on. Something we can do uh, utilities. So number of entries uh, depending on the other factors also. We'll go through next slide. So yes, this is one other beautiful uh, figure is showing here uh, formation of the box cut location. So all the material will be poured into outsets. See, observe there. So like this, they are going to inside the. 
box get popped the number of entries ram to entry in and existing for the mind depending on the following factors what are the factors uh, uh, for the entry uh, ramp and entry to the existing from the mind depending upon the uh, depending upon the following factors one length of the mind in the strike direction length of the uh, length of the mind in the strike direction length of the mind in the strike direction Uh, about the requirement of production, amount of the requirement of production, how much uh, production is required, is also very essential. Uh, requirement of the separate boots for the mineral and uh, ore burden transport. The requirement of the separate boots for mineral and uh, ore burden transport. Distance of hauling is also one of the important. <clears throat> the distance of the the distance of the hauling also important system of handling of ore burden ore burden soil system of handling of ore burden soil rock and also the handling of the mineral system of handling of ore burden soil rock and uh, also handling of the mineral working of uh, working of number of phases so overall economy these are also thrown into mind Basket is a preparation is a work is a going on. So I go to next slide. So this is another beautiful slide. So in the box that to active is going on. The initial so that uh, the shape of the mining you can observe here. Yes, yes, this is a very beautiful. Uh, you observe the water the blues are going on inside that. Uh, Bases are forming very clearly. So the above act development deposit for a because the required there some preparation work is also required. Uh, but that there are the preparation of uh, the preparation for the ground surface is essential. It's including the uh, uh, felling of the trees, removing the stumps and grubs, expanding sweeps and lakes, transforming the expansion structure, diverting the streams and rivers protection site from the water pressures. Uh, it's possible from the underground drainage system. Making extensions exist and working trenches to provide access to the working origins of the open pit. Making benches for major stripping, that is the removal of ore water, and exhale of the country box, extraction of the mineral, auxiliary operations such as leveling of the working areas, eliminating ore tanks. These are the essential activities uh, for the uh, opening of uh, the initial unit. Then you go, then you start the Uh, later stage, uh, start the. So this is a beautiful uh, uh, activities are going on. Supervisors are visiting. See that how the angle is coming of the box cut. Uh, that the initial cut of the open pit uh, lot of cost time. See that here. Right. This is the box cut uh, preparation. Trenches. That is something called trench opening. Trapezoidal cross section. This is the trapezoidal. Uh, cross section. You can see, up, uh, observe that it is the trapezoidal uh, cross section. This is the trapezoidal cross section. Are usually used for giving access from the ground surface to the working or the origins of an open pit, or provide the, an approach road uh, from the activity part of uh, deposits uh, to the emerging point. The emerging point. Uh, these uh, access trenches are called the Uh, trough of uh, box cuts. Uh, sometimes it's called the trench. Trench. This uh, is the trench cut. So opening of excavation with the trapezoidal extractions. So this is the trapezoidal cross section. 
This is a trapezoidal cross section. You are maintained here trapezoidal shape. So this is the trapezoidal cross section. Uh, trapezoidal cross section with the trapezoidal cross section. We usually used to give the axis uh, from the ground surface to the working uh, origins of an open pit or provide an approach road from the activity part of the deposit to the emerging part. Uh, these axis uh, are called the troughs of box cutters. Uh, they have suitable gradient and width uh, conforming to the operation of the transportation facility laid off the, for the electromotive locomotive transaction. Maximum permissible slope is 4 degrees because uh, most of the vehicles are going on. Electrical locomotives, tra tractions uh, uh, up to slope level is up to 4%. You will maintain for the motor transportation. 15% you know, uh, is the belt conveyor purpose, this is 15 to 18%. Uh, um, these are the you have to maintain the inclined length for the length given. Uh, for the making out uh, initial front for the working bench, for working trench is uh, made from the as is trench running horizontally, usually with an uh, easy slope. There is a uh, trench out the deposit uh, from the one side of the boundary to give the continuous run for the major excavation missions so this is the uh, uh, typical uh, typical uh, um, um, trench cut from the trapezoidal shape uh, for the purpose of uh, excavation for the purpose of the uh, shape of the trench is a uh, very important to the uh, activity either the activity is a concern equity concern then uh, uh, Sometimes uh, deposit occur in below ground uh, um, level are usually open up will simply a straight link line uh, trenches also sometimes are showing the above figure shows the opening up for the flat seams in a plain uh, terrain uh, shows the progress of overburden benches as seam is exposed to the deep side in special circumstances such as for a uh, transportation for a loop spiral roads are made in the inter interior origin of communication for chip and conveyor haulage uh, the made of these will be discussed in the uh, coming uh, different methods you can discuss there uh, the trench is usually made power most of the uh, with the help of the drag line is the most suitable uh, for, for the purpose of convenient of cutting of the this type of box cutters long boom greater digging depth uh, larger dumping area is teaching right it is a, it's a very useful uh, thinking uh, most of the problems operations box cut preparation is they using uh, the other other uh, casting procedure is there but uh, actually uh, the location uh, depending upon the location of the box cut uh, that uh, will be going on next I'm going to the uh, next slide. Uh, it is a very also beautiful thing is showing here. Showing here. So this is also one activity. Uh, already this is about one activity is showing here. The box cut. So uh, you are observed that there are most of the uh, this operation may be by use of uh, drawling is a very uh, important uh, uh, parameters for the box cut preparation work is concerned. Uh, developing of a deposit for exploiting by open cast mining consists of what the uh, more of activities are there. The, um, the excavation trench uh, for the preparation of the ground surfacing. So these are the ones at Galans you see the uh, what are the activities are going on inside. So this is the overall um, review of the uh, box cut and once again repeat the, the slides uh, for your understanding purpose. So box cut is an initial cut um, uh, for the purpose of uh, move, uh, activities going through this one. But for purpose you have to location is also very essential. The location should be uh, optimum. optimum uh, where is the mineral uh, richness is more uh, or uh, location is uh, in the site is not in the uh, away from the 
all transport activity should be a minimal activity for the long length to minimize the, all the activity through this one. So location and gradient should be suitable for the, all the hems will be traveling for the box cut. Such a way that you have to prepare it, uh, the gradient uh, for that purpose. So this is one type of uh, another box cut mode of progressing is going on. This is also an activity of the so going. See here, the complete will be powered into the outside of the ramp, uh, outside of the dumping, maintaining the slopes. So overall uh, uh, line view, you can be see observe a line view here. So, so this is the line view. So box cut uh, line view is a uh, like uh, to maintain. So these are the uh, lines are showing what are the hatches positions are showing the dump dumps dump and dump slopes. This is a dump and also you have the some slope towards this one. This is exposed over. Similarly, this is a dummy. So box cut will be going like this single one bench. This is the upper bench. This is the lower bench. This is not exposed core or exposed wall. That means this part is a more height than the this part. This is a lower part. This is a higher part. This is a dump. This is a dump. This is showing like this. So this is the uh, uh, think uh, the box cut is concerned. Uh, uh, opening of uh, open pit is done by the open cut for the development of first uh, working bench. First working bench. Uh, the opening cut is uh, called the box cut and cut and slope of the suitable gradient. The steepest is uh, advisable both the technical and uh, uh, economical point. Uh, view for the transport and the holding uh, space and minimizing the cost of excavation for a deep pits is necessary. The box cut may be internal, uh, located in the berm on the one side of the pit, saves cost of excavation uh, suitably for the deep pits. Uh, since the number of benches in this uh, case is uh, more. And excavation by external means is external, extremely large and costly and extremely suitable for the shallow pits. Uh, it is excavated initially down to the uh, floor level for the first bench. That is a more first start the surface to the downmost point uh, of the, uh, that is a depending on the height, feature how much height you have to maintain the shower or dumper or um, draw lanes or what are the missionaries you have played they, that according that much of your distance you have to uh, touch it up the floor uh, that is the height of the uh, bench so initial uh, itself you have to maintain the uh, the height 
so then uh, initial down to the uh, floor level first bench from the surface so so first bench means the first bench may be 20 meters or 30 meters or 20 feet or 40 meters depend by the design design that is the first floor the floor cannot be identified initially floor means to how much you put into the height of the bench that is the floor of the bench. so floor from floor you have to turn to the other sides floor then level trench uh, for opening is extended from the uh, opening cut to form the first bench uh, the opening trench is narrow the opening trench is nothing but a narrow keeping due record of turning of the mysteries used for excavation and extends along or across the uh, quarryable limit depending on the type of the deposits uh, when the first bench is sufficient advance the box cut is up oriented and extended to the next lower bench keeping uh, due record of sufficient amount of rooms for the approach road to the top bench and for the opening trench for the second bench uh, this way a number of working benches are developed and a width of the box cut should be sufficient enough to diversify the approach roads to all the benches if a number of benches are developed if the number of benches are developed and width of the box cut should be sufficient enough uh, to diversify uh, to diversify uh, the approach road to all the benches if the number of benches are developed uh, the number of benches are developed from the one opening cut to the cut should be uh, started enough away from the Pit limit. This is a very essential point. If a number of benches are developed from one uh, opening cut, the cut should be start enough away from the pit limit so that the bottom bench can be reached at the desired slope of the pit. So uh, the slope maintenance also variation for, for, for other uh, benches formation. The slope you should be maintained in such a way that for the suitable for the uh, all the uh, what are the activities going on in the uh, inside for so that uh, you have to maintain such a way that this type of opening cut may be very long and uh, may be curved depending upon the shape of the extent of the deposit for opening up the hilly deposits a central trench cut is uh, given across the top level for the first bench or uh, from uh, one side in the same co contour level uh, forming in the length of the face which will give the required production uh, also give the required production rate also give the required uh, production rate so automatically uh, this is a very uh, box cut the uh, major technical point uh, i will discuss here now i go to the uh, not only this one location also all the led i given location uh, so the the, the location of this and whether it is a middle of the deposit or a center of deposit or uh, one end of the deposit or which side should be the also the uh, these factors also you have to uh, grow in mind uh, for essentially for that one so for which uh, general points are uh, location of uh, location points are these points are you are brought in mind the location of the box cut depends upon the uh, then the uh, uh, number one point is the Minimum cost, the minimum of cost haulage within the open pit uh, and outside the pit to the desired place. Uh, within the pit or outside the pit, depending upon the uh, depending upon the desired place. The example, uh, preparation planet, uh, plant is there, uh, siding are there, or mineral and overburden dumps. However, if the place of the mineral siding and overburden dump is far part separate opening cut to one for the mineral and other one of the overburden is to be formed if the shifting of box cut is not necessary if the shifting of the box cut is not necessary then it is to be located at the boundary of the mineral uh, the boundary of the mineral deposit property uh, in a dipping deposit this boundary should be in the mineral outcrop or where the ratio of the overburden or is the least location of the box cut should be in the middle of the boundary of the 
reserve of minimizing the haulage cost. In a horizontal deposit, the box cut can be located in the middle of the any boundary, depending on the location of the location of the place uh, for distinguishing of the overburden and the mineral deposit. The opening trench in a uh, in continuous of the box cut offer two working phases of the educate long for the desired production on each level. The side of the box cut should be stable and free from the geological. It is very, very, very essential. It should be free from the geological disturbances. Uh, the box, uh, the, the location should be the free from the uh, geological disturbances. Um, uh, the side should be the rise side of the cord against the flood of the mine. Uh, this is also one of the essential uh, activity. The site should be selected where the construction of approach road is very convenient. Be very convenient should be convenient. The site should be selected preferably where the deposit has high grade mineral to uh, compensate the compensate development cost. Location of the box cut should be such that it is uh, serve the purpose of the maximum mining area. So, however, if the mining area is extensive, the total mining area is divided into sub areas, uh, sub areas, and they are to be opened separately. Due to the wider and deeper re reach of the drop lines are most suitable equipment. So, most of the box cuts are prepared by the drop line. Uh, it is a very suitable mission for the easily excavated and dumping to the material into the uh, what are the convenient for the purpose of. Uh, uh, box cut preparation is activity is concerned. Uh, so they by this uh, uh, concluding the box cut activity. So box cut is a one one important uh, phenomena for the uh, nothing but it is a initial inclination. Uh, what is the inclination and what is soft is a, uh, essential for the underground box cut is there that much of a priority is there for the open uh, open open pit is concerned. Open cast mine is concerned. Uh, the, 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 from this uh, uh, slides, I am concluding the, the basic uh, idea of the box cut. Uh, I think you can be able to understand uh, all the what are the activities you are observed there uh, effectively. So once again, I repeat the uh, slides for the easy understanding purpose. You see the concept is the uh, different slides of the open uh, box cut uh, preparation ideas. Right. So, my concluding that one uh, summarized also again. So I hope you will be able to understand the basic concept of the and basic purpose and basic servicing of uh, this box cut and its types and uh, how to prepare. What are the factors you have to brown in mind while the box cut selection and box preparation and how to box cut in easily made for the large open cast mines or small pits. Uh, I think you are all are getting understand the this thing. Now, as a summary concern, we have to define this in slides. We are only two terms or new terms that is the backfill and box cut. I hope you can be able to uh, deliver it. You can explainable backfilling and box cut. Uh, one uh, huge question and there's most of the uh, these type of questions coming. You are competent to ESET examination or. Junior mining engineer examination for going to write in single and call these are Western coal field or coal India or naval liquid. So, this is the one uh, one type of uh, bit, uh, bit type question. I am giving the example here. Which cut are used in open cast mine? Which cut are used in which cut are used in open cast mine? Whether it's a box cut, wedge cut, normal blasting cut. So, box cut is the open cast mine. Opening cut. So this is a related to the box cut is the uh, related to the open cast. So box cut is another uh, is not don't think that box cut is a blasting activity. It is a different box. It is a preparation of the approach road. So that's why box cut, box cut is a box cut in the shape of the trapezoidal shape. That's why called a box shape. That's why called as a 
box cut. That should be your brahma mind. So you're elaborating a definition of the box cut in such a way that. So this is the uh, one thing. Another uh, assignment questions are there. Some assignment I'm going to give you. Uh, assignment to, this is a uh, one typical uh, assignment question for the upcoming examination for uh, board examinations. Describe briefly about the box formation. Describe briefly about the box formation and its types and basic objectives. So how the box uh, cut formation is made and its types, what are the box cut types is there, external inter and also what is the, how would it serve the, for the uh, preparation work? How do it serve the entire uh, activity of the mind? So these, uh, these are the uh, box cut is concerned. Next, I go to the <coughs> frequently asking questions also define the turn back feeling and define the box cuts. Now I am concluding the here. Uh, thank you one and all uh, for giving the opportunity to the explain to the box cut to definition and back feeling. We go through the uh, most of the uh, singer and qualities or in uh, coal India or iron ore mines. You see the most of the Google you can search the so many images are there. The box cut images are there. Please grow through the that images and understand more understand the box cut to activities how they are going on what are the equipment used for the boxing operation and how they are maintaining the slope of the box cut and side of, um, slope activity because box cut is should be maintained entire of the mind. This is a prone in mind. According to that one, the box cut location is also important. Box cut slope is also important. And box cut uh, maintenance is also very essential. So I hope uh, you understand them. Thank you. Thank you very much. All the best.